hey what's up guys i'm from nanza studio and in this video what we're gonna do is um we're gonna show you how to connect the uh, studio pro television studio pro we're gonna show you how to connect that switcher using a windows machine um last time we did a video we showed you how to do the setup um using a macintosh laptop this time we're on a, a windows laptop and we're gonna show you how to go ahead and set that up um so here we go i've already downloaded um, the latest the latest setup file from black magic and I've already installed that file so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead um, go to your Windows key once you click on the Windows tab scroll down to a B for black magic um, click on that and you'll see your your setup file and you'll also see your software control software control file now at this point I've already connected my USB and network cable to the uh, to the black magic um, television studio in order to get to the ip address go ahead and and click this icon on the left here and this is how we're going to get our ip address in order to get to your network properties here where you see you're connected to the wi-fi icon here just click that and then where it says network and um network and internet settings go ahead and click that all right so once you get here what you're going to want to do is click on the ethernet because that's how we're connected to our our television studio pro and over here you're going to select change adapter option right click on your ethernet go down to properties and then here click on your internet protocol version 4 and you can either double click that or you can select that and then go to properties and once you're here we're going to put um our, our information in manually okay so we're going to match what we have over here so the ip address is going to be um 192.168.10.241 and again the reason why we have 241 versus 240 because on any network even a private or small network such as this um, no two device can have the same IP address or else you're gonna have a conflict okay IP conflict so what we want to do is make it just a slightly different than this here just the last three digits okay all right once you have done that go down to subnet mask and the default gateway we're gonna we're gonna put the same gateway information over here okay so that's gonna be 192 that one six eight that ten that one okay and just double check your information make sure everything is correct here we don't need to do anything we just leave it as it is and then we just click OK click close and you can close this folder here and you can close this as well and as you can see it already um, connected that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching if you found any of this content useful, go ahead and drop me a like, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Alright, take care, be safe.